Hi there, my name's Fence and welcome to another Tea Break Fix. So, pause the video, go get yourself a nice drink and let's fix this up over the next 10 or 15 minutes. So this is Tomy Super Cup Football. I've already featured this on my channel, I did a How It Works video, so I completely stripped it down and tried to work out what was going on. So I feel very confident in getting this one working. So I bought it from eBay for a little over 20 UK pounds and it says Tomy Super Cup Football Spares or Repair. Plenty of spares to be had, including spare knobs and players. Not working when we put batteries in, although no terminals or clean, missing other balls and the feet buffers. So I put batteries in this and I was expecting not to hear anything power on, but it's as noisy as can be. But there is a problem with it and I think it's, uh, well, I don't think I know it's gonna be a mechanical problem. So let me take it out and show you what's going on. Now this is a particularly dirty one, so either way it's gonna need cleaning. But watch this, so the idea is you move the players up and down here and uh, you have to score a goal, you've got your keepers here and also you have automatic corners and throw-ins. But if I turn this one on, watch this player here. When, it will go sometimes, but when you go to where it is now, it gets stuck and it doesn't go back down. So let me show you what it should do on the opposite side. Works fine, but now watch this one. And now if I give it a helping hand, it works fine there, but watch, when I go here, and then back again, it's not going. So we need to do that. Also, that one. Can you see that one there? It jutters. And also what's happening is, look, this is just a simple thing, but these have become so loose that when you twist it like that, can you see? It's not doing it, yeah? So we've got quite a little bit of work to do here. I think what I'm gonna to have to do is take off the loose ones here, that's loose as well. Take off the loose ones and maybe I'm gonna pop, pop them in some boiling water and see if they will uh, regain a little bit of their uh, original shape a bit. Anyway, let's take it apart and see what's going on with this one here. I don't know why it didn't work for them to begin with because this battery compartment is really clean. Normally you have little rubber buffers here to stop it sliding around the place. Okay, so here we are. So it's this one here which is not working properly. Why? Why is that? Pop the batteries back in and see if we can work it out. So it's this one here, yeah? Now let's go to a corresponding one just to see how it's supposed to work. So this one here, let's try this one because that's down the bottom. You can see some are down the bottom and some are up the top depending on which player you are. So let's, uh, let's do this one here and see what happens. Right, so, it goes to there, it grips on straight away. So what's happening with this one? This one here. What's the difference between that and that? Well, initially, I cannot see any difference between the faulty one, which is this one here, and that one there, yet that one works perfectly. Why? Why does that grip and why is this missing when it looks the same? The red plastic's definitely not broken. The track that it runs along, there's nothing wrong with that. Ah, I wonder, has it, hold on now. So that goes and springs back. Oh, it springs back because you can see there's a little black thing hanging down with a stopper on the plastic, on the red plastic, can you see? So that's what springs it back. So if that wasn't as springy, look, is that like a fraction of a millimeter further along than that one? That would stop it from happening. So if we lift this up, and if we push this, if we make the black plastic more uh, 
in that way without breaking it like that I wonder would that not have it uh, go along as far or even at the bottom maybe I could add a little bit of plastic or something to the stopper to make it wider so it doesn't go as far Yeah, it's working now. What it was, it was that black stop was just a little bit too far out that way. So just by moving it in, it pulls it back into place. So it's just working as a bit of a spring and it just wasn't quite springing it back enough. Right, that's that one. Let's have a look at this one here because this one was a bit juttery as well, this one. Ah, that's gonna be harder now because it's the opposite side. This is gonna keep springing out. So let's just see if we can look at it and see what's going on, why it might behave a bit weird at the top. Well, I suppose if we think about it, what would cause it? It's moving up and down and it's getting a bit jittery. Could it be, for example, like dirt on this, uh, on the rail that it's moving up and down so it's not as smooth, so then it kind of judders more? It could be, couldn't it? Because, I mean, we have got quite a lot of dirty grease around the place. Maybe just by using it more and more, it would free, uh, it would free itself up. I think what we need to do here is, it looks like this one's fixed now, let's just give it one more go. Yeah, that looks right. I think we just need to give it a good clean. So I'm gonna get a wet wipe, and I'm just gonna give everything a nice good clean, and then I'm gonna add some fresh grease to the rails here to make it nice and smooth. It will still be as noisy, because all that noise is coming from the motor. Everything here works from the one motor, and that's what makes Tomy Toys so amazing in this era, because uh, working from the one motor and doing all these different things, it is just a feat of engineering marvel. Think about it, all this moving up and down, all these things kicking up all from one motor now that is pretty special well let me give it a clean and then we can put it all back together so this is going to take quite some time so I'll just uh, fast forward through it and play a little bit of music for you to relax and enjoy your cup of tea or coffee with Right, let's drop these in a mug of boiling water and see if it cleans them and also see if it kind of rejuvenates them any bit at all. Right, let's get some water in here. <coughs> Merch. Now, put them in. I don't know if this is gonna make any difference, but they're dirty anyway, so they can do a bit of a, can do a bit of a clean up and I've got an old toothbrush in there. Right, that's much cleaner now. 
I'm not sure if they're that much softer. Now they're cooling down, they seem to be getting pretty hard again. So I don't think that's a way to uh, rejuvenate rubber. I suppose the oils have just gone out from it, but hopefully if we put them on, it will. Uh, they might be a bit, a bit better than before. Right, now I need to clean up this top here, which is equally disgusting. So let's do that and then we can do the final test. Do you know what, compared to what this was like to begin with, this is going to come up immaculate. Looks so, so, so much cleaner. So now what I'm going to do is uh, put this back on. I start to clean all the bottom up as well. Let me just see now that needs to go into there. Let's put that midway and that midway. Right, this one's working fine. This one's still not great. So I'm just going to keep working up and down just in case there's a grease problem. Well, I can't see what's causing that to judder. There we go, we found out what the problem is. When I put pressure down here, it starts working. So what's happening is, you know that worm gear goes along the red track at the very bottom. It's uh, it's kind of allowing it to bump up. And when it's bumping up, the worm gear is no longer gripping onto the red track. When I put pressure down here, look how well it works. Perfect. So when we screw it together, it may start working, but remember there was a problem there initially. So it's to do with this jumping up. Now, why? Why is that jumping up and not allowing... Uh... I mean, it's not exactly worn there, is it? So I think a way around that would be to put a bit of tape on the top here, and that's then gonna put a little bit of extra pressure, a little bit of extra pressure down I wonder, could it be as simple as where it's been rubbing up and down the metal, the plastic holes got a little bit bigger? Let me zoom in and show you. So, if you have a look where the plastic uh, hole is, where the metal is, can you see the hole does look quite big there? So that's going to allow this to drop more than previous, before it might have been up here. Now, I think I'm going to use a bit of plastic because think about it, this needs to be able to slip and slide against the top and if I use like insulation tape that's going to be more rubbery and it might uh, it might kind of grip and then just peel off over time. So I'm just going to cut a tiny little bit of this raspberry container 
into that rectangle shape there, this side of that hole, and then that's going to put pressure on it there, because already I can sort of see that that looks to be more at that angle than the others. The others seem to be straighter, while that one seems to be... Now, if you have a look at this one here, that seems quite kind of flat, doesn't it? But look, that seems to be dropped down there. So I think it's just wear. This has obviously had quite a bit of use, which is good. It means somebody obviously enjoyed it. Well, that might be enough. We'll give that a go. I've given it a good clean, so hopefully the surface on that is clean. Right, let's see if that has made a difference. What do you think? I think yes. Yeah, I think when it's screwed down... I'll tell you what, I don't want to put too many layers on. I'm going to screw it down because that's going to pull it right in. Perfect, happy with that. So I'm going to put the screws back in and then uh, give all the bottom a clean up and we should be done. So it's all back together, all nice and clean and I've got a spare ball here now. It is working perfectly and the condition of it is much better than I thought it was when I first saw looked at it. I thought my one was in good condition but look, look at the difference between the pitch on my one and that one there. My one's kind of gone all bumpy and wrinkly and stuff, and uh, it's really faded compared to this. So this pitch has come up, it's beautiful. Honestly, the condition of this is really, really good. So to make it absolutely perfect, I would need four rubber feet on the bottom, because as you can see, it slides around. But interestingly enough, I didn't even notice my rubber feet have long gone from here. So uh, yeah, I suppose, obviously, if you're playing it on something shiny, it's going to make a difference. But if you're playing it on the carpet, who cares? Now, I've had a look, you can actually buy loads of spares on these on eBay, but it shows you how popular they are, because everything is so expensive. Look at this one here, £100 plus £5 postage for it. The rubber feet, £2.99 each. Right, we'll just do a minute's worth of play, so... Put it in for the corner. Goal! It's quite sad that I have to play on my own. Passing it to this one. This was the one that was dodgy. Look at it working now. It's one of the quickest on there. Oh, own goal. One all. Right, let's leave it at that. So what was wrong with it? This one here just needed the little black clip bent back into place. And this one here just needed the a little bit of plastic added to the top because I think it had wear on one side. What else? Uh, these things here just needed a nice good clean and by putting them in boiling water, none of them now are loose and they were loose before. So they're all, uh, they all appear to be gripping nicely now. So if I was to hold one of them and turn, you can see I can't turn it there. And here, obviously if I was to do it massively, I would be able to do it, but I don't want to break them. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed your drink and uh, I will see you hopefully very soon in another tea break fix. Take care everyone.